Patrick Kelly, welcome to Tattooed Nerd. Hi, Patrick Kelly. I, uh, I'm a distinguished architect at Zoom. I, uh, I'm not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology. And a lot of times that deals with Zoom. Uh, and today's no, no, not like any other day, really, is that we're going to talk about Zoom and Microsoft Teams today. Let's be honest, 99.86% of the world is a Microsoft customer. I have no idea if that stat is right. I, I completely made that stat up. I, but I rarely walk into a customer and they're like, hey, we're all Google and Red Hat here. I, I mean, sure, it happens. It's just not the norm. Everyone has an E1 or an E3 or an E5 license. Or if you're in government, G1, G3, G5. Or if you're in academics, A1. A, you get the point. Is You own Microsoft as a bundle perspective. And that bundle comes with a lot of stuff. Active Directory, Work Productivity, File Repositories, Security, UCAS, right? UCAS is part of that bundle. Teams is part of that bundle. You are paying for Teams when you buy your subscription, your license to Microsoft. And this is where we're going to have this discussion is why would you need Zoom in addition to Teams? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Well, there's a lot more than a couple, but we're going to walk through those today is why would you need Zoom in addition to Microsoft Teams. It comes down to a few different points. So let's kind of just dive deep and, and see what those are. First, first and foremost, not everyone works the same. Not every department works the same. Every individual works different than every other individual. Legal works differently than HR, that works differently than accounting, that works differently than sales. And with that different workflow comes different needs. And with that different needs comes different tools. You can see where I'm going, Zoom and Teams coexisting for this model alone. So let's walk through three common workflows, or just three examples of why you would need Teams and why you would need Zoom, either or, really, right? There's a lot of workflows that need Teams exclusively. There's maybe workflows that need Zoom exclusively. And they, do they blend and mesh? Yes, they do. But we'll talk about that too as the best in breed and advanced feature sets later on. But right now, let's talk about different workflows. I'm going to give you three examples. Three examples. Bob in accounting, Susie in HR, and Steve in sales. Three completely different departments, three completely different individuals, three completely different workflows. Bob in accounting is a numbers nerd. He loves numbers. He loves to talk about numbers. He loves to configure numbers. He loves to work with numbers. That's his job. He's an accountant. Bob doesn't typically collaborate a lot with other people beyond maybe just his team, his coworkers, his colleagues, his boss. And for that, let's just, we're going to accept in these, these three examples, we're going to pretend that this company owns Microsoft Teams and pretend they own Zoom. So let's talk about Bob and accounting and the way he's doing his workflow. He's, do, he's working on numbers, he's crunching numbers, he's working at spreadsheets and Excel and all these things. And he wants to collaborate with one of his coworkers. And they're on Microsoft Teams and on Zoom at the same time. A lot of times we're using Microsoft Teams as a collaboration vehicle, right? A UCAS vehicle, unified collaboration as a service or unified communication as a service. Those are two different things. Collaboration is dealing a lot with instant messaging and persistent chat and file repository and co-authoring on productivity suite. Teams is a really good job. By the way, Zoom does it too. But in this example, we're going to say they're using Teams for their collaboration vehicle. And so when Bob's in accounting and he's using that collaboration vehicle of Teams to instant message somebody on his, on his team, and, and Bob says, hey, I'd like to share my spreadsheet or share my screen with you so we can review this document together, it's internal. That's an internal discussion with other colleagues. If he's already on Microsoft Teams, it kind of doesn't really make sense from a productivity workflow to get out of Teams, go to Zoom, invite somebody to a Zoom meeting, have them get out of Teams, go to Zoom, join the Zoom meeting, share the screen, and then go back to Teams, right? Can it be done? Yes, it can be done. But typically, if you were Bob in accounting, you're already using Teams for collaboration. If you want to share your screen, you just hit the share screen button, one button, one click. It's pretty effective. 
we've been sharing screens and, and programs for, for decades, honestly. This is not new technology. This is not a new feature. Teams does it. Share your screen. Bob in accounting. 100% of his collaboration is happening internally. And that's okay. Let's go to Steve. Let's go to uh, Susie in HR. Susie in HR, for, for use of better, easier math, 50% of her workday is dealing internally, collaborating internally, maybe talking to, to uh, uh, people inside her, her company or her employees that are having questions about healthcare or, or uh, benefits or 401k stuff. She's collaborating internally. And again, she's probably using Teams for that collaboration. She could use Zoom, but that's another discussion. She might be using Teams for that collaboration. And if she wants to have a meeting with those internal employees, yeah, again, just as easy to click the meet now button, the call button, the video button. Have an instant meeting, an ad hoc meeting, right, with those people using Microsoft Teams. But 50% of Susie's job is talking externally, is having external discussions with vendors about healthcare, about vendors, about financial services like 401k. She might be doing a lot of interviews externally with candidates and recruitment with external candidates or colleges. 50% of her time is spent externally collaborating. And so what tool works best for her with all these individual vendors and partners and customers and you and recruitments and employee and potential employees? It's Zoom. Zoom will be work the best, work the fastest, work the most efficiently, be the most collaborative, have the advanced feature sets. Susie will want to use Zoom for all those external discussions. 100%, Bob, 100% internal uses Zoom. I mean, sorry, uses Microsoft Teams. Susie, 50-50, right? 50% Zoom, 50% Teams. Let's go to Steve in sales. Maybe the most important workflow here. Not to take anything away from Susie and Bob. They have their, their needed entities. They, they certainly need to do accounting and HR stuff. But how much, how much revenue do they generate? They didn't generate every, any revenue. That's not their job. That's not their workflow. So any collaboration that they have is generating zero revenue. So let's go to Steven Sales. What is Steven Sales doing every day? He's talking to customers, partners, vendors. He's generating revenue every day. That's his workflow. That's his job. He typically is not collaborating internally. That's not his job. That's not his workflow. He's having meetings with customers. He's making phone calls, cold calls to, to external uh, partners, vendors. His whole job is to create commission for his paycheck and for his company. And in order to do that the most effective way possible, what we found in the field is sales, 100% external collaboration. I'm making it easy math. Want to use Zoom for all of these discussions, all of these meetings, all these webinars, all these conferencing rooms, these, these, the ability to use spaces. These are really important parts of this workflow because this workflow generates the most revenue. Stay, sales generates obviously the most revenue. That's their job. And they want to use the best tool for that. That is going to be Zoom. And, and not only from a feature set perspective, because it has the most features. We are the innovator in UCAS, but also because of the experience for the participant and the attendee and the quality. Quality matters. If you haven't seen the Wayne House study on the quality of UCAS vendors over a perfect network, you need to look at that because we don't live in a perfect network world. We live in a disparate network world where there's 10, 30, 50% packet loss, even 70% packet loss. Then what is the quality of, of Microsoft Teams compared to Zoom? Wayne House showed that Zoom beat every single competitor in every single space on 30%, 50%, 70% packet loss. Zoom was number one. And when you're generating sales and generating revenue, you want the best tool with the highest quality, best in breed. That's Zoom. That's 100% Zoom. We talked a little bit about advanced feature sets. Microsoft Teams is a very powerful tool, but Zoom is the innovation leader here. There are far more features in Zoom than there are in Microsoft Teams. There's too many to list. All these advanced features are in Zoom, in Zoom phone, in Zoom call center, in Zoom events, in Zoom spaces, in Zoom team chat, in Zoom meetings. 
the ability for a user to, to effectively collaborate in a way that's super innovative at the highest quality is really where we're talking about best in breed. Is your users want the best tool for their job? And sometimes that's giving them choices. We don't live in the draconian IT world today where we just used to force one application out for the next three to five years and you like it or whether you use it or whether you like it or not. Users demand choice. And if you don't give it to them, they're going to go get it. So a lot of times, different needs create different workflows, have different tools. That's why Zoom and Teams coexist together. Hope you learned a little something. Thanks for the time.